So, I'm in Japan, and I'm at the Yatabi Arena, home of Yokomo, and the famous Masami Hirosaka. I'm just taking a walk inside, give you a little uh, track spotlight. As you enter in the building, on your right-hand side, you got this amazing hobby shop. Uh, as you can expect, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, it's like being a kid in a candy shop. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You got some refreshment snacks on the left, re cash registers on the right. Um, but, you know, it's time to walk around and see what they got here. Um, as you can imagine, uh, there's kind of a lot of stuff that you don't see in the States or you're not uh, really ready for because most of that stuff's online. But they have different tastes here in Japan and um, they focus a little bit more in off-road. Uh, and especially drift. They're crazy about drift, drifting in Japan uh, at Yatabi Arena. So uh, the shelves are just stocked with a lot of cool looking stuff. Um, here you can see a lot of the drift kits. Uh, they're, uh, they're well displayed. I mean, you can, you can just kind of browse around, see all the different tools. Um, there's just so much to see. And uh, Masami is just huge here. Uh, they have a lot of electronics that you don't normally see. Um, I actually uh, was checking out a spring dyno uh, and a few other things. The bodies, uh, they have these cool displays above the bodies um, where actually somebody built it. and So you get a better sense of what you're looking at. That's not something that you normally see in a hobby shop. Uh, it's pretty well stacked. Uh, a lot of brands that you're not really going to bump into on a day-to-day -day basis, but they got them here. Uh, some of the staff guys. Everybody's always smiling, eager to show you new things that you've never seen before. And there's a lot of stuff that you uh, come to expect as well. All the staples are there. Um, uh, but, but obviously, uh, Yokomo is a dominant brand here. I mean, look at all the stuff. I mean, it's so well organized, nice and neat. Everything's clean. I mean, you can get lost in here for hours. Can't go wrong without your ramen. So out of the hobby shop, uh, everything's sealed off. I'm going to walk on over to uh, the main part of the track. Um, right now I'm here for the AOC in Japan, the last in the series. Oh, you can't forget about uh, the vending machines. Everything in Japan is, is about these vending machines. They, they just stock them with everything. You can buy a beer in a vending machine if you want. Anyways, uh, this is normally where the, the drift track would be, but because the event's going on, um, they have some extra pit spaces and things like that. Um, this particular race, there's about 200 entries, which is a nice, uh, uh, Ronald Volker here, um, which is a nice number because uh, the days aren't too long, but uh, it's still real close and tight competitive racing. Uh, the factory team Yokomo is right there. Guys from X-Ray. Um, bunch of other places uh, guys from down in Australia came and visited uh, so here's the main track this is the on-road track uh, it's it's the old gray uh, carpet I'm not sure if it's a CRC carpet but old gray CRC carpet but um nonetheless it still has the same characteristics so if you've been on gray ozite from CRC in the past um, or CRC that's similar to the gray ozite it's really similar the only thing is this thing has been run in like crazy so uh it doesn't take long for the traction to come out when they make um layout changes because there's just so much rubber in the carpet uh as you can see it's uh it's pretty big um you know the lighting's really good they have this cool scoreboard at the end of the track you can see lap times what cars and what place that kind of thing it's pretty cool Uh, this is the other building. This is where the carpet off-road track is. Um, as you can see, they kind of have it as a semi-permanent semi where the jumps can be moved around, but the track itself is, is here. Same thing, they got uh, the gray carpet here, uh, super high traction. And they have a lot of these prefabricated uh, jumps and features that uh, can be moved around. Uh, 
today the on-road event's going on. So there's a, just a few people in the off-road track uh, kind of running some packs. Uh, it's such a great facility, though. I mean, as you can imagine... Uh, this new facility has been around for about five years. Actually, the on-road facility was outside with covered, but there was so much snow at one point that it collapsed the tent part of it, the overhang cover. So they moved the in-road uh, on-road track indoors, and that's where it's at now. But uh, this is just one building over from the on-road track. So people uh, get to pick what they want to do. Um, in the last building, they also have a mini Z track upstairs and full on kitchen, uh, with things to get to eat and that should wrap it up.